The Leash hurlers lined out yesterday, needing a win to avoid dropping to the Christie Ring Cup. Carlo were still on a high, but very much the outsiders. Jim Green's team played with a freshing heart throughout, getting off to a super start with this Mark Brennan goal in the fifth minute. But star forward Willie Highland kept Leash in touch with three points, and he found the net here on 14 minutes to put Leash in front by two points. Having only joined the Leash panel 10 days previously, promising teenager Dane Peacock from Abbey Leaks scored his first goal for his county on the half hour. This was the decisive period of the game, with Leash holding their opponents scoreless for the final 13 minutes of the half, while adding 2-5 themselves. Tommy Fitzgerald got their third goal, as the Amour County had built up a 12-point lead by half-time. On the resumption, Carlo struck for an early goal again. Craig Doyle here, getting the final touch. But the experience of playing at a higher level was now standing to leash, while Carlo, who were in action for the fifth weekend in a row, began to tire, substitute Niall Holmes scoring Leash's fourth goal. The loudest cheer of the day followed this goal late in the game from Des Murphy. It seemed like the perfect way to end the Michael man's 19-year involvement with the Carlo Hurlers. Murphy and his teammates were given a guard of honour by Leash as they left the field, Leash running out 10-point winners to secure another year of top flight hurling. They've achieved a lot this year already. We got what we wanted in the league and we won the Christie Ring and we're in the Welsh Cup next year, they tell me. So overall it was a good year, but it would be nice to win today, but the tank was empty. There was a bit of pressure on us coming down to Carlo today after they had such a fine win last Sunday evening against Westmead. But uh, we got in and got the job done and that was the most important thing, to play for 70 minutes and get our result and get out of it. Pete, uh, Leash stay in the Senior Hurling Championship. Carlo, despite winning the Christie Ring Cup, are back in the Christie Ring Cup for next year. And I gather you're not happy. I'm not happy. I was involved with the Christie Ring with Mayo, um, with Martin Brennan, who was manager. And we, we had a great year, a very enjoyable year. Um, but I think it was said there in the commentary, like um, expecting a team to win a competition last weekend after extra time, after playing the previous four weeks in a row before that, and then having to go and play a leash again. That's six weeks in a row that, that um, Carlo were expected to, to perform. They didn't get to play in Crow Park. Uh, we can have rugby, we can have soccer, whatever we like in Grove Park. Uh, they were offered a Friday evening of a bank holiday. That's when they were offered to play the Christie Ring final. Uh, there was no date set for it in the calendar of the GEA. There's only two championship hurling matches in Crow Park this, this year to date. They, uh, were given a separate day. they were given a date <coughs> in Crow Park though? They were given a date along with, 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 the, with, with Dublin, I think, um, on, the, on the Saturday as well. As well, but like th that's not conducive to, to, to hurlers. Like, why wasn't it played in between the minor and, and the senior game today? Why isn't it played the day of the All Ireland final? Like, these guys train equally as hard as, as, as um, the guys in, in Division One and, and the Kilkenny's and the Galways. Uh, we train maybe four nights a week. Uh, guys travel from Dublin to train. Um, there's lads playing 10 years with, with, with their county and they don't get an opportunity to play in Crow Park. I think, I think it's very poor. Declan, would you agree with Pete? Yeah, absolutely. It should have been showcased on a, on a hurling day as opposed to maybe <coughs> slipping it in to just accommodate before a football game. Um, like, you know, Carlo go out to win the Christie Ring to play on the highest level, but all of a sudden they're, they're back into the, the same grade that they won the competition. So it's not, it's not really doing them any good at this stage. And I think, you know, just reward would have been a day out in Crow Park. Okay, the curtain raiser in Crow